All right, so I want to give a, a presentation about Gnosis, also a prediction market. I directly skipped the slide. What is the prediction market? We just uh, saw Augur. So I start with um, why Ethereum? And um, I can make this very concrete because I started a project called Fairlay about two years ago. And it was a, it is a, bit, a Bitcoin prediction market. And there are several problems with that. So for example, if you uh, now want to open Fairlay from your current position from inside the UK, then you see this site. And um, another thing is obviously uh, security. So we had the goal to build a decentralized prediction market. That would mean that on the one hand, um, yeah, the user should not need to trust us. So the goal would be that always the money that is in predictions is somehow stored in a, in a multi-sig uh, contract. And it might be possible, it might be possible, or it might be that it is possible to achieve this goal with Bitcoin. The problem is it is very, very complicated. Um, it would take long development and you have to make, um, yeah, it, it would be not a good user experience. And that's very different with, um, with Ethereum. With Ethereum, it's way much easier. And um, so the one point is the user perspective, that the user do not have to trust us. But the other um, point is that Ethereum is also great for us, for our perspective, because we do not want to um, spend resources on security. We do not want to hold a, a cold wallet of, of, of Bitcoins of our users because it's, it's just a risk and just a costs that can be avoided with, um, with Ethereum. So what's the current status of, um, of Gnosis? We went live a few days after Frontier. We since then have, have had a little bit more than 900 contract interactions and a little bit more than 5,000 Ether um, in predictions. So I just now want to give you um, a demo. And I will, whoops. OK, and I want to um, make a demo um, and show how a prediction market uh, can be used for decentralized decision making. So I, I think the, the um, I, I can skip the, the usual use case. Uh, the usual use case would be you'd predict on a specific event. Um, who becomes the next president is one of the canonicals. But I want to show you how, um, how to use the prediction market for decision making. So let's say we take this example of Ujo, this um, music platform. And we want to make this decision, what is a good price to charge? And the goal, the overall goal should be um, to maximize the total, the total revenue. And another example could be a decentralized exchange, and the decision would be uh, what fees do we charge. And again, the goal is to maximize the overall re revenue. So how it work with, um, with Gnosis? You can uh, suggest an event. You would uh, choose uh, what price uh, should be charged. You would specify a closing date. Um, category, and then you could um, select uh, a few suggestions. For example, uh, uh, 40 cents, uh, 60 cents, and so on. So I skip this and go directly to, um, to the market we, um, we can create with this. And there we have um, we have four suggestions, 40 cents, 60 cents, 80 cents, and one ether. 
And now, in principle, we can, we can trade here. Um, we can select, uh, select a share. We want to buy, specify a price, um, and the usual stuff. Um, all very similar to, to Augur in this case. Um, but we can also use this button or use this uh, buy all outcomes. That would mean we can spend uh, amount of ether, um, let's say 100, and, and we would get shares of each outcome. Now, the second step is to create another market, and that would be what is the total um, revenue in, in US dollar on the music platform in 2015. And now we can create more markets, and we select our um, we select this um, we select uh, the total revenue in 2015. And now the interesting part is that we can uh, select the currency. In principle, the currency would be ether, or um, we are agnostic towards currencies. Could be any. Uh, any to anything that implements the token uh, interface, could, if someone comes up with a dollar token, if someone comes up with a Bitcoin token, DAI, or wh whatever, um, that can be chosen. But we can also choose a token directly from our platform. And what does it mean? So we choose now, uh, we choose now what price will be charged um, on Ujo for a song. And we um, select one um, yeah, specific outcome. So basically, what we create now is a market that is traded in shares of 80 cent will be the price of a song. And that means that this market will only be relevant if this decision is made, because only then those shares will have the value of one ether. And otherwise, they will have a value of zero. So basically, in the other case, if, 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 this, um, if this price is not chosen, then all trades are ir irrelevant. So what you achieve is you say, what will be the total revenue under the condition that we uh, make this decision, that we um, charge 80 cents for a song? So how would it look like? Um, we create such a market, and here it says, OK, it's traded in 80 cent shares. And um, here, here's the, the forecast um, on, on, the, uh, on the outcome. So in this case, the forecasted revenue would be um, $5,000. Um, and people can now trade, and they can basically um, go long or short, and therefore uh, increase or decrease the forecast. And in the end, we will have, uh, so I had a different screen resolution in mind, but anyways. Um, OK, so in the end, we have for, for those different uh, markets, for the one uh, that's traded in 40 cent shares and for the one that's traded in 60 cent shares, we have different predicted outcomes. And then, after a specific trade trading period, uh, we can automatically select the decision that has the highest uh, predicted outcome. We saw yesterday. Um, uh, a demonstration of, of boardroom where there there are different suggestions, and you could aut you could um, uh, automatically connect it to the prediction market and automatically create for every um, potential decision a market and forecast the price of the token of, of this um, project under the condition that this um, decision is make made. And I think that's a 
very powerful tool, and I'm very excited to see um, how, how this will, will turn out. Okay. What, what is our goal um, of, of Gnosis? Our goal is to be a prediction market as a platform. That means we are agnostic uh, toward, towards oracles. Uh, we already have seen during this conference very interesting um, ideas for oracles. For example, this um, direct interaction with um, APIs of oracles. Um, so all oracles will, will be supported by us. You can specify uh, just the resolver address. Uh, all tokens will be um, supported. We support different market makers. We have already implemented aut automated market makers. And the idea is that it will be easy to create different skins for different um, topics. Again, everyone can become an oracle. We will provide an oracle platform. We are already working on off-chain trading um, for yeah, faster uh, trading. We integrate our platform with, with crowdfunding so it, uh, people can crowdfund a, a market maker if they are uh, interested in a, in a forecast, they can crowdfund it. And again, different tokens are possible. Very short look at a uh, little bit of code. Um, create event. Uh, what, what are the parameters? So we have a hash of an event description, then we have an event type. We distinguish between two types. Um, types where we have a different number of outcomes that would be the um, different prices there. We had four potential outcomes, and then we have uh, numeric um, outcomes where we predict on a range. That would be the total revenue. Um, then we have your resolver address, that's basically the oracle, and some additional data, the oracle can choose fees. That's all you need to implement those three functions if you want to be an oracle or if you want to create an oracle contract. And finally, we would like to be a prediction market as a service. That would mean we aim for one-click deployment if you have some topic you're interested, it should be as easy as setting up a WordPress block to set up a prediction market um, on this topic. It should then be easy to customize it. Um, integration of other services and build up uh, your community or use it uh, within your own uh, company. Thank you. With two, min two minutes left, I think I, I, we could allow, I could allow one, one, two questions. Anyone have a question? So is there a way to, um, you know how we had to create different markets for the 40 cent, 60 cent, 80 cent price? And if, you know, we have to individually come up with those, right? Is there a way to um, like make it Less discreet. I'm just wondering. Um, like, what, what if two dollars might be the, mm -hmm. the the optimum price, but we didn't think of that and we didn't create the market for that? Right. So, um, the the easiest version would be that anyone could just make another uh, suggestion that you always have uh, an other price, and then you can split this other price up into a new suggestion and again, the other one. Or you could, um, but that gets more complicated, you could um, also there have a range, um, or yeah, use, use this range predictions and um, forecast that on another range prediction. I, I guess from, a, from a, a user interface perspective, it would be better to just allow additional um, Vitalik here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
So basically the idea is you imagine splitting up the price into binary digits, then you have a sort of prediction markets that are kind of towering on top of each other, one for each binary digit. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the idea is that sort of as the top level digits converge, then event, like at first it's going to be between like 40, mm -hmm. 80, 80 cents, then once you pick one, then you know, people, then you'll have markets for the second mm -hmm. digit, which will basically be understood to mean like 41 cents, 42 cents, up to 49 cents and so forth. So you could get very specific that way. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay.